Carl Perkins was a contemporary of Elvis Presley, who contributed just as much to the genre of rock and roll as the King himself, but Carl doesn't get quite as much credit. Known for writing the early rock anthem Blue Suede Shoes, Carl's career sadly didn't have the longevity that Elvis's did. Part of the reason why was a car crash that he suffered just as he was striking it big. Join Facts First as we explore how Carl Perkins' career never recovered after his car crash. Carl Perkins was like the other Elvis. Carl Perkins was born April 9, 1932 in Lake City, Tennessee. He grew up in a relatively low-income household, and he and his brothers learned to pass the time by playing music. Similar to Elvis, Carl grew up in a time and place that allowed him to experience the blues music that African-American artists were making. Also like Elvis, Carl incorporated this into his own playing. However, Carl also had his foot more firmly in the country tradition than Elvis. Another thing that set the two apart was the fact that Carl was a guitar player in addition to being a singer, while Elvis was known for his voice. Forming a band alongside his brothers Clayton and Jay, Carl Perkins began building experience playing in honky-tonks around the area he grew up in. Once he had enough confidence in himself as a performer, he approached Sam Phillips, the head of Memphis-based record label Sun Records. This was the label that gave Elvis his start, and Elvis actually signed with them first. When Carl played Sam his music, the label head thought his sound was too similar to Elvis's, but he couldn't deny his talent. Carl and Elvis had a similar sound, but the two never met until after establishing their identities. They happened to have similar influences, as well as having grown up in similar situations. Carl signed a contract with Sun Records under the pretense that he was going to make more country-oriented music than the kind of rockabilly stuff that he and his brothers had already started performing around the area. Carl made country music with Sun Records. Even if he preferred making rockabilly music to country, Carl Perkins still gave his early work with Sun Records his all. He found success thanks to a couple of country singles and was later able to expand into the kind of rockabilly he always wanted to make. The big hit that allowed him to start making rockabilly was Blue Suede Shoes. He was inspired to write the song at the behest of country music legend Johnny Cash, who was also signed to Sun Records at the time. Johnny dared Carl to write a song about the latest fashion trend, and that just so happened to be Blue Suede Shoes. Carl wrote the song on a whim just for the joke, but ended up liking it so much he presented it to Sam Phillips. It was a rockabilly song through and through. Though Sam had been initially skeptical of the idea of Carl releasing rockabilly music, he allowed him to release the song, and it became a hit. But it was a bigger hit when Elvis sang it. Besides the power of the song itself, another reason why Sam Phillips finally allowed Carl Perkins to start dabbling in rockabilly once again was that Elvis was no longer in his stable. In November of 1955, Elvis made the transition from Sun Records to RCA. He had outgrown the relatively small label that he had started out on and was ready for bigger and better things. Sam didn't hold a grudge against Elvis, but he needed a new rockabilly artist to take his place. Thankfully, he already had one in tow. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FACTSFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash FACTSFIRST and get 15% off. Blue Suede Shoes was a rockabilly hit. The 1956 release of Blue Suede Shoes made Carl Perkins an overnight rockabilly sensation. Today, Elvis's version of the song is the first one that generally pops up, and there are relatively few people who even know who Carl Perkins is. But in the 1950s, people knew Carl was one of the realest figures on the rockabilly scene. 
Just as it was climbing up the charts, Carl Perkins and his brother Jay got into a serious car crash. At the time, Carl's brothers were still his bandmates. However, Jay didn't continue performing with him for long. The car crash killed the man that was driving the car, and it seriously injured both Carl and his brother. Carl was on his way to New York City to make an appearance on The Perry Como Show. Carl and his brother were rushed to the hospital where they were treated in the ER. Both musicians survived, but only one fully recovered from his injuries. Carl did his best to get back to life as if nothing had happened. He recovered and returned to playing relatively quickly. But Jay never fully recovered, and he ended up dying from complications related to his injuries in 1958. Carl was devastated. Though he had fully healed, he never would be healed from the wounds of losing his brother. This loss caused Carl to turn to the bottle for solace, as many other musicians have been known to do. The car crash put a halt to Carl's career plans. The release of Blue Suede Shoes made it seem like Carl Perkins would be the next big thing. But the release of this breakout single ended up being the peak of his career. The car crash didn't put an immediate end to the rock and roll star's upward trajectory, but the snowballing effects of it did eventually cause him to lose his career momentum. The same year his brother died, he also made the jump from Sun Records to Capitol Records. Unlike Elvis, Carl's jump to a bigger label didn't yield increased returns. As the 60s came around, it seemed as if Carl Perkins would be relegated to being a moderately successful country musician on the Nashville scene. He had decided to return to his country roots after the success of Blue Suede Shoes failed to find him a sustainable career in rockabilly. Rockabilly was on its way out, though country music was a guaranteed sale in Nashville. He also formed a friendship with the Beatles during the 1960s, as the four musicians were big fans of his work. They covered many of Carl's songs during their early days. Carl and Paul McCartney even maintained a friendship that lasted decades, with Carl appearing on Paul's 1981 album, Tug of War. Given Carl's rockabilly prestige, it's no wonder the rambunctious young Beatles looked up to him. In 1965, Carl began touring with Johnny Cash. Johnny offered Carl the chance to tour alongside him in the late 60s, and the two continued touring together until the mid-70s. Then Carl formed a band with his sons, and even formed his own record label. But he only found niche success in his career from this point forward. In the 1980s, Carl Perkins founded the Carl Perkins Center for the Prevention of Child Abuse. His Later Life in the late 80s, Carl was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but his light was slowly fading. In the early 90s, he was diagnosed with throat cancer. Amazingly, the cancer abated within a year thanks to treatment, but it wasn't the last of his health scares. In 1997, he was forced to undergo surgery due to a blockage in his heart. The surgery seemed to be a success, but Carl suffered from a couple of strokes during the recovery. Because of this, he passed away. He was only 65 years old. Today, the musician is rarely given the respect he deserves with regard to his influence on the genre of rock and roll. In 1956, Carl, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Johnny Cash all got together at Sun Records for an impromptu jam session. The session became legendary, and numerous recordings from it have been released. At the time, Carl was seen as being on equal footing with the other three. But things are different today, and the reason why all stems back to the car crash that occurred that year. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Carl Perkins wrote Blue Suede Shoes after being dared to by Johnny Cash? Let us know in the comments section below.